Darkness has fallen. This, the setting for an execution. A bird singled out, about to be shot by children. The impact of the fall minor compared to the incoming kick. And this is the weapon of choice, a catapult. The victim this time, a squirrel. Alive and bleeding, it's picked up by its tail. Voiced by an actor, the child audibly proud of his shot. Look at that, boys. It's a ball bearing for you. Have that, you <laughs> In another part of the country, a pigeon seriously wounded. Pushed into the ground, its injuries unsurvivable. And this is the damage this small weapon can do. This time, a fox with a silver ball bearing lodged deep in its head. The perpetrator in each of these videos, a child or teenager, and these killings are just the start. Sky News has uncovered a UK-wide network of animal shooting and torture carried out by children using catapults. Some are as young as primary school age. Filming and photographing their kills, this material is shared on WhatsApp for all to see, against their terms of use. An investigation has discovered 11 catapult groups on the app with nearly 500 members like this one. Pictures like these are posted daily. This person says he killed 45 pheasants in one night. And this type of picture is common. The weapon of choice lent up against the animal it killed. Videos like this one regular. The headshot injury too graphic to run without blurring. The attitude towards animals is clear. Voice notes celebrate their kills. Here, voiced by an actor. Shot him straight in the head, boys. Smack bang in the skull, not one bit of kick, nothing. No little flinch before he died. It goes straight through the rabbit's head. I killed 16 things today, lads. Assessing the footage is the RSPCA's lead wildlife officer, Jeff Edmund. So that deer is lying on the floor and it's about to be kicked. This is horrendous. Nobody should have to see this. This deer has been targeted for fun, for sport and taken out. It's in distress. This is cruelty. This deer is suffering by virtue of being hit with a catapult and then being kicked. We're seeing more and more injured animals being reported to us that have been hit by a catapult. That is down to deliberately and intentionally targeting that animal for sport. So it's an emerging trend. You can go and buy a catapult very easily, that's one of the issues, and use it to target animals, which is illegal, and offences will be committed. For the animals lucky enough to survive a catapult attack, this is where they could end up. The Swan Sanctuary, which rescues waterfowl, has 20 birds, all with catapult injuries in their hospital pens. Volunteer Danny Rogers explains. The unfortunate male lying down, he was, um, he was shot in the head three times. One perforated his eye and his eye exploded. And the female, she was attacked but, and shot three times by ball bearings too. Um, she's currently recovering from surgery, once being taken out of her neck. The ball bearing removed an all too familiar story. So this x-ray shows three ball bearings in this one's head and neck. We've got a selection, another one in the head, head and neck again. And then when you scroll through, this unfortunate one was um, attacked and shattered its leg, went through the leg bone. It's completely gone through the bone. And these are some of the actual ball bearings. And they're huge. They're very heavy as well. Yeah, and exactly. That, and that's how you can see the devastating effect they're having on wildlife. Most of the injuries are head injuries, neck injuries, pure kill shots. They're there to try and kill these animals. Fractures to the facial areas, eyes exploding, uh, windpipes bursting, shattered, um, you know life-changing death causing injuries <sighs> yeah it's, that's all i've got I've seen it seen it seen a, a swarm that's been shot with its mate of 10 15 years um it's not nice it's horrible causing unnecessary suffering to an animal is illegal but when it comes to catapults there's a gap in the law Catapults aren't covered by any legislation. People can buy them, carry them, and here they're being used to kill. The Wildlife and Countryside Act 1981 is the relevant legislation protecting wildlife in England and Wales, but catapults aren't covered anywhere under those laws. Henry Smith is the vice chair of the all-party parliamentary group on animal welfare. 
part of a group of MPs working to develop policy to lift animal welfare standards. The evidence is concerning. I mean, sadly, I think you have uncovered a growing problem that I think government and parliament should look to legislate in terms of the sale of catapults and also for those who use catapults as a weapon to inflict injury and suffering, uh, that there is a criminal sanction to that. One up for the new catapult? Big Canadian goose, dead as a dodo, get up! Undeniably shocking, this rabbit's death has been shared for all to see on WhatsApp. Just another victim of an emerging trend where catapults are used by children to kill. Calls have been made to tighten the laws. The question is, will it stop them? Amelia Harper, Sky News.